What's going on, y'all? It's JD Pakel. Today on CFB with JD, we're going to be breaking down the skill set of Miami slot wide receiver Xavier Restrepo. Welcome into CFB with JD, the people's channel for every single thing that you know and that you love about college football. It happens here, happens nearly every single day, so I would encourage you to subscribe. We do a lot that we do here on my Twitter page, at JD Pakel. You can follow me there and contribute to what we do here. It's a great medium for you to help drive the show. Armstrong, Sims, Jack McKenzie, they do the real heavy lifting behind the production, everything that you see in front of you. So, Xavier Restrepo is primed for, in my opinion, a enormous season at Miami. New offense under Josh Gaddis is going to complement his skill set very, very well. But begs the question, what is his skill set? We're going to show you right now. The first thing that jumps off the tape to me is the way that he is able to win his matchups. Even more so, you can't match up with him with just anyone. More specifically in this clip, a linebacker. That's a bad matchup when you got Xavier Restrepo. So right here, we got a bubble route and we're going deep. Safety triggers. He's here. He is left all by his lonesome to cover number seven. That's not a good setup. So look, we trigger there. Right here, you're in trouble. Boom. Everyone behind him. Everyone. I mean, there's no one even within four yards of the guy. Seriously, you cannot guard him with a linebacker. At slot receiver, he's going to get matched up with linebackers a lot because of what Josh Gaddis is going to do schematically to allow for favorable matchups. Now, let's say you don't get a linebacker, right? Let's say you get something a little more favorable. You got a safety, okay? Right here, he's coming off the edge. We have a corner out on this safety. Xavier Restrepo eats him for lunch. Watch what happens right here. He's a heady route runner. He's a great job challenging inside, flips his hips, puts him on a turntable, honestly. Get back vertical for the, ooh, baby. Get back vertical for that corner. Now, we shouldn't even really be showing you this because this is technically a crime what he does to the safety. I'll throw it back one more time. Boom, inside, he is already sold on this post, gets back to the corner. Got my man on hoop mixtape, nice little crossover. Boom, first down Canes. Absolutely love it. We're gonna show you another crime right here. We got one-on-one, -on -one. we got an out route. It's third and eight. He is one-on-one, -on -one, like I just mentioned. Xavier Estrepo does a great job winning the route, and then he gets greedy after the catch. Great, outside release, he is challenging here. What they say as a receiver is, hey, Everything is a fade until it's not. He is trying to make it look like he is going deep on that seam. He knows he's got burners. He's in trouble. Boom, stick it right there. Anytime you're in trail position behind Xavier Restrepo, probably not good news. Quarterback gets us the ball. Boom, perfect, great. First down. But now is when the real play starts. Then he gets vertical. Take him for a ride. I absolutely love it. Anytime you got a receiver that can make some noise after the catch, I mean, you just got to love it. Gets back, gets upfield, get off me, little boy. First down. No mercy. No mercy for the opposition. Another thing that jumps out to me about Restrepo, he has a really high football acumen. We saw that route he just ran where he just did that North Carolina receiver dirty or the North Carolina DB dirty, but he's extremely intelligent when the play breaks down. He knows how to be quarterback friendly. Right here, you can't see him in the picture, but he is supposed to get in this zone behind or in front of this safety behind this linebacker and find the soft spot. What happens though, and you'll see, we get pressure from the inside. Uh-oh, got to step out, got to step up. Xavier Restrepo is right here, wind it back for you as you can see. He sees what happens and breaks off his route and knows he has to be, a, be an option for his quarterback right here. He's running to the sideline. His route tells him to be in here, but the quarterback's like, hey man, be an option for me. Gets out to the sideline. Does a great job being an option, hands catch, tough catch, first down. It's plays like that that set receivers from good to great. Restrepo right there isn't making the catch if he does what he's coached to do and just run his normal route and get in that soft spot in the zone. Instead, he takes that coaching to the next level and says, okay, play breaks down, be quarterback friendly. Does a great job doing that right there. It's going to be crucial as Miami tries to make plays off script in this coming season. Finally, Dude wins one-on-one. -on -one. And we already showed you he wins one-on-one -on -one right here against the Alabama defensive back. Anybody that knows anything about college football knows those are a tall task to win one-on-one. -on -one. They're not winning the game. Xavier Shepard says, I'm still going to make my play. 
We're one-on-one -on -one across the board. We're man right here. You got a seam route. Make something happen, big dog. Just win. He's playing physical with him the whole way. Look at right here. They're hand fighting. They are pushing back and forth. A lot of receivers at this point are saying, okay, that's great. I got the flag. I'm going to be able to get our team with a 15 yard penalty. Great. First down. I did my job. Restrepo looking at it the whole way. Again, they're down by a lot. Battles through big time catch. And I love that so much. I say they're down by a lot, not to throw any shade at Miami, but to say, if you don't love football at that point, the ball's in the air. You say, why do I even go after the ball? Restrepo fights through the contact, makes a gritty play. He doesn't care if it's 41 to three, if it's a tied game, it's 100 to zero, doesn't matter. Guy plays through the whistle and loves football and it shows right there in that clip, winning a tough hand battle with the Alabama DB and coming down with a big time touchdown for his team. Now, as we mentioned, Josh Gaddis, offensive coordinator for Michigan a season ago, now calling plays for the Canes. If you want somebody to watch, Miami fans, that you think Restrepo will be like, Roman Wilson, number 14 from Michigan. They used him a lot in the slot, and he had a pretty good season last year for the Wolverines. Right here against Georgia, we got man on man. We talk about it, speed and space. Restrepo's going to be a guy they create space for, and they create matchups for. They're going to allow him to win. Right here, Roman Wilson, he's got a fade route. We're there. He's coming in here. We're there. We're matched up here. You just got to win. Again, physical competition, physical SEC DBs. Makes him look silly, wins at the point of attack, creates a bunch of space for our man right here to go and get the football. Big catch by Wilson, first down. I love Restrepo because of the way that he plays the game. He's attacking the football, he attacks the, the open space when he gets the chance to make something happen after the catch. A matchup, nightmare, heady route runner. I mean, you name it, the guy is a very complete, well-rounded player. Gonna be a lot of fun for Kane fans to watch in this new offense under Josh Gaddis. That's it for us here at CFP with JD. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter at JD Pakel. A lot more is going to be coming here as we attack this preseason like Xavier Estrepo attacks opposing defensive backs. We're going to keep this party rolling. And we will see y'all next time.